Hi everybody, it's Nat from Studio Hacks here and in this short video I'm going to show you how to convert a drama region into a MIDI region so we can have much finer control over all the drum hits and if you're not really familiar with the drummer track it's when you uh, create a new track with this little plus button right here you can choose a software instrument, an audio track or a drummer track so the drummer track is an auto drummer, it creates beats for you and I'm not really going to go into the finer details of how to use the drummer track in this video. I might do another video on that. But this is a nice little hack because I really love creating beats and, and um, using this little interface down the bottom to make really interesting beats. So let's just have a very quick listen to this random one that I've created here. And then I'll show you how to convert it to a MIDI uh, region. So all you have to do, um, because I really like that beat, but I might want to edit the individual hits a little bit uh, to match my song. We have to create a new track and we have to select software instrument. And we have to select the exact same drum kit that this drummer track has preloaded. So to find that out, you click on the track header, which is anywhere in this region here. And then you open your library. If you can't see the library, this is on the left hand side. Click this little icon here or hit the Y key. Um, so all we have to do is look down to the electronic drum kit and see the name of the drum kit. So this is the Crate Digger. So now I click on this software instrument track header and I'm going to go down and I'm going to find under drum kits or probably electronic drum kits. It should be Crate Digger right there. So now that I have the exact same drum kit on this software instrument track, we simply select the drummer region, hit copy, and then select this track and hit paste. And now this should sound exactly the same. I'm going to mute the top channel. So now we have much finer control over all those drum hits. If I, if I open up the editor, the MIDI editor, the piano roll editor for this region here, you can see now we have these on a grid. So we can change the feel a little bit or we can select, so let's say we could select all of the hi-hats. Let's do that. And we can turn the velocity down a little bit or we can delete one of the hi-hats that we don't like. Well, then we can do whatever we want. We can add in extra hits here. Find something we want to add in. So I just hold down my command button to create a little pencil drawing icon there. I might zoom in a little bit closer using this little slider right here, dragging it to the right. there. So you can see now that's basically a MIDI file and we can edit our drum uh, you know track here much better than we can while it was the drummer. So I normally use the drummer track to get the ideas and then I really hone down my drum tracks using uh, the MIDI here. And if you like this video make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, Keep an eye out. I've been very busy uh, lately working on a brand new course, how to produce electronic chill pop music in GarageBand. That's why I haven't been posting many videos. Um, it's got a four hours of video content and I build a electronic chill pop song from scratch in GarageBand. And I show you how I get professional sounding results uh, with the software and you can even release your music. You can even get it good enough to release music to Spotify or sell your instrumental tracks as beats or to music production companies. I'll leave the link to that course in the description of this video when it's finished. It's just in the final stages of production at the moment. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.